Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to solve a multi-step equation that involves using the distributive property and combining like terms. Let's jump into our example where we have negative nine and then in parentheses, m minus two and parentheses plus seven m equals negative 10. So looking at this equation, let's work through this step by step. We will start by looking to see if we need to use the distributive property. Then we can look to see if we can combine any like terms. And then if we end up having variables on both sides of the equation, we will need to take care of that. For this example, we will not have variables on both sides. And then lastly, we can look to solve. We can look to isolate the variable. Now the first thing that we're going to do is look for any opportunity to use the distributive property to remove any parentheses. So do we have any parentheses that we can remove? Can we use the distributive property? Yes, we can use the distributive property to remove the parentheses around m minus two. We need to distribute negative nine to m and negative two. Keep in mind, use the sign that is in front. So that is negative nine being distributed. Negative nine distributed to the m, so negative nine times m gives us negative nine m, and then negative nine being distributed to negative two, so negative nine times negative two gives us a positive 18. Remember, a negative times a negative equals a positive. So we have plus, 18, and then we can bring down the rest of the equation. So plus 7m equals negative 10. Now that we removed the parentheses, we can look for any like terms that we can combine. Are there any like terms? Yes, negative 9m and 7m. Combining negative 9m and 7m, so we can think of this as negative 9m plus 7m, that gives us negative 2m, and then bring down the rest of the equation. So plus 18 equals negative 10. And now we have negative 2m plus 18 equals negative 10. Now we can look to solve. We can look to isolate that variable. We don't have variables on both sides or anything else like that that we need to take care of, so we are good to go. Again, we need to isolate that variable of m. And we're going to do this by using the inverse operations and go in the reverse order of operations. So we need to undo the addition first. The inverse operation of addition is subtraction. So let's subtract 18 from the left side of the equation. Whatever we do to one side, we must do to the other. So subtract 18 from the right side as well. On the left side of the equation, we are adding 18 and subtracting 18. So these 18s cancel each other out. And now we have negative 2m equals, and then on the right side, we have negative 10 minus 18, that gives us negative 28. So now we have negative 2m equals negative 28. So negative 2 times m equals negative 28. So we need to undo that multiplication. What's the inverse operation of multiplication? Well, division. So divide the left side by negative 2. That means we need to divide the right side by negative 2 as well. On the left side, we are multiplying by negative 2 and dividing by negative 2. So these negative 2s cancel each other out. m is now isolated. So we have m equals, and then on the right side, we have negative 28 divided by negative 2. So a negative divided by a negative. That's going to give us a positive. So this gives us positive 14. And that's our solution. m equals 14. Now let's check that solution by plugging it in for m and seeing if this works. So let's come to the side here, negative nine, then we have 14 minus two plus seven times 14 equals negative 10. Let's start with 
parentheses here, 14 minus two gives us 12. Bring everything else down here. Then we can do multiplication. So we have negative nine times 12, which gives us negative 108 plus, bring everything down and we will go one step at a time here. So we have more multiplication. Seven times 14 gives us 98. So we have negative 108 plus a positive 98. This gives us negative 10. So 14 is correct. That's our solution. M equals 14. So there you have it. There's how to solve a multi-step equation that involves using the distributive property and combining like terms. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.